What's up everyone? It's been so long since I've uploaded on YouTube and I'm thrilled to be back talking to y'all. And it's honestly the topic for today's video. Why do Scorpios just disappear? Why do they drop off the face of the earth sometimes? If you're not a Scorpio and you're friends with one or you have a, um, a partner that has a lot of Scorpio, you might notice this. But if you're a Scorpio yourself, um, you have strong Scorpio in your chart, you might also relate to this or feel this need or find that you do it a lot in your life. Now, what do I mean by you know, completely disappearing? I mean like dropping off the face of the earth, changing your name, you know, going into witness protection, dyeing your hair blonde, getting a dog, start wearing jean shorts, living in your car. You know, I, I don't know I'm where I'm going with that. I'm, I'm digressing. Disappearing can mean different things. When I think uh, about my own experience, you know, having strong Scorpio in my chart, disappearing means to me like you know, the act of sometimes just totally dropping some habits or, or dropping uh, a consistent way of, of having done things for a little bit. Or maybe if you are uh, on social media, right, it means dropping out for a little bit, deleting your account, not posting. It means, you know, just taking an energetic break from people in your life and going dark. and. Scorpios, this is bundled up with an essential part of, of Scorpio energy. We think about what Pluto represents and Pluto being the ruler of Scorpio, Pluto is about transformation and metaphorical death, metaphorical rebirth. It is annihilation. It is uh, destruction. It is embracing or exploring the shadow. And a lot of Scorpios throughout their life are going to feel compelled by this type of impulse. They're also going to just see that it, it's um, a theme in their life. And uh, I think that the overall message of this video is that that's something that shouldn't be avoided. It should be embraced. You shouldn't judge it. But there's also healthy ways or more constructive ways to create space for that without having to completely throw over the table um, in life, right? So I, I think about maybe more immature Scorpios when they suddenly find themselves in a position where they feel out of control or they don't feel like they, they're in touch with themselves. This can often happen in the context of big commitments like relationships or jobs or friend groups or any of these kind of things that really dominate and kind of structure and influence our energy in life. I mean, these are the, these are the causes of that um, for all Scorpios, not just immature Scor Scorpios. But the point I was trying to make is that for immature Scorpios, there is, there is a more intense reaction to it. And a, a, an immature Scorpio might be in a relationship and they suddenly feel like, ah, I don't, you know, I'm scared. I, I'm scared of the consequences or I'm scared of losing myself or I'm just not resonating with what's around me anymore. And so they'll completely flip over the table of their life. And, you know, we're talking about a metaphorical table. I'm picturing like a big family dinner table or Thanksgiving where just everything is packed and all, all neat and a Scorpio just wants to freaking throw the whole thing over and knock, knock it all down and just literally Irish exit out of everything. Sometimes there's this impulse if they're in a relationship to just literally bail and ghost uh, a partner and not want to uh, text back or engage or even deal with it or communicate or address it. They feel like it's easier or to just like go into their job and realize, oh, I've absolutely had it. And then they just no call, no show. They throw their apron uh, on the wall, a piece out, and then you never hear from them again. Normal Scorpio influence in some sense, not the most healthy way to deal with it, right? For Scorpios of any maturity level, in order to continue to um, undertake this process of knowing thyself, right? Of knowing who you are when no one is watching, right? To, to know what you look like when you're looking at yourself in the mirror with your eyes closed, so to speak. You need to 
continually have opportunities, I mean, for lack of a better way of saying it, to do that. And what happens is that Scorpios can get so caught up in the expectations and the influences, the energetic influences of, of the things going on around them that they they lose touch until suddenly they find themselves in this really uncomfortable spot. And there's always that sensor turned on for Scorpios, again, because this is what drives their growth. It's that intense obsession, commitment, laser focus on the things that they commit them themselves to. And then, right, they get a certain distance and they suddenly are like, oh shit, time to abort. Let's rethink everything. Let's burn everything to the ground. And then, you know, coupled with the obsession stage is this like destruction stage where they, they see, all right, this is all the broken pieces on the ground. Like, what did I actually like about this? What was working? What wasn't? How do I want to be? How do I want to live going forward? Now, if you are friends with a Scorpio or you're in a relationship with a Scorpio and you see this behavior, none of this is to say you should condone that or that that's okay. Or even if, you know, a Scorpio that's like taking a lot of distance, it means, oh, they're going to come back, right? That probably is not going to happen. But what I will say is that some form of that process is actually extremely, not only extremely healthy, but extremely necessary. And what Scorpios that are on the path to trying to become more mature, that are on the path of personal growth, what they need to realize is that this impulse isn't going to go away. And so self-awareness is important. Self-awareness about what you are investing your energy into what you are jumping into is really important so that you, one, don't kind of find yourself, find yourself in situations that aren't serving you or where you feel trapped. The broader point though, is that even in situations that are supportive to Scorpios or, or that are good for them, Scorpios are still gonna sometimes feel this, this tension. And it's important to find ways to outlet that and still fulfill that process without creating so much disruption in their life, without, again, just Irish exiting out of everything, because that ends up just causing more chaos and damage in the long term. And it's just a turbulent way to live. So what I will say is that finding ways for, um, you know, Scorpio finding ways for themselves to take alone time and to take space and to find things that really work for them to connect with their inner essence, whether that's journaling or consistently going outside and, and running for long periods of time, or if they're in long-term relationships, being very direct and being very communicative about the need to have some alone time or having an alone night or having an alone weekend for them to connect with themselves setting those expectations in the relationship, making sure that that's okay and that there's space for that and that's respected. These things are, are, are so, so important. Again, don't tolerate the really destructive or immature expressions of that. But if you do have a Scorpio in your life that you kind of see that or they take space, don't necessarily take it personally. Sometimes Scorpios do need to retreat and they need to restock their reserves and they need to reinvent themselves. And if you're understanding your patient and you support it, they're really going to value it. And if you're someone that they really value, they will come back. They will come back renewed and restored and evolved. This is the Scorpio cycle. This is the Plutonic cycle. This is the process of moving from kind of the bottom, the Scorpio low vibe expression to the Phoenix evolved expression. It doesn't just happen in, in one cycle, one, this is a kind of continual process of breaking bones to regrow them, breaking tissue to grow muscle, you know, spiritually, emotionally, mentally speaking, um, as well as, as physically too, right? Healthy body, healthy mind, healthy heart.